Everyone loves fresh ripe tomatoes from the garden, but diseases with tomatoes can be very challenging. Now, in order to prevent your plants from getting diseases, you want them to be as healthy as possible, and that starts with choosing disease-free transplants that have been protected from early cold spells by the nurseries and also in your garden. Plant your tomatoes in full sun or give them at least six hours of sunlight. Plants grown in less light will tend to have more disease problems or fail to bloom. Be careful with your young plants. Some diseases can enter damaged areas of the plants and then kill them. Trim off lower leaves so they're not in contact with the soil when you plant. And cage your plants early to avoid plant damage. If you're trying to cram a tomato plant into a cage once it's grown a little bit, you're gonna end up breaking some uh, stems and leaves. Cage plants have better air circulation and will have fewer disease problems than plants that are allowed to sprawl on the ground. Space your plants so that they have good air circulation between them, at least three to four feet apart on some of the larger indeterminate varieties of tomatoes. Control insects on your plants. Cucumber beetles can spread bacterial wilt. Aphids and other insects can transmit very uh, many diseases to your plants. Avoid picking your fruit or working around plants when the foliage is wet, whether it's rained or whether you've watered. And this is also important with cucumbers and beads. You can spread diseases that way. Also, if you smoke, you want to wash your hands after you've smoked a cigarette or a cigar because you can actually transmit tomato, tobacco mosaic uh, virus to your plants. Rotate your crops, including other members of the nightshade family like peppers, potatoes, and eggplant. Spores of diseases like southern blight can survive in our soils for several years, so a three-year ro rotation of these plants is best. Clean your tomato cages or whatever you're using for support after use. You can use a bleach solution, an alcohol spray, or other disinfectant, and remove all tine and twine, ties and twine that are attached to the cages. And also, at the end of the season, remove all plant debris. Get in, up any leaves and stems. As, the, as long as they're not diseased, you can put them in the compost pile, but um, just make sure you clean up the garden well. Avoid over-fertilizing plants. Fertilizer burn can resemble plant disease. Sometimes you'll have yellowing of lower leaves that then turn brown, small leaves, uh, and uh, sometimes the edges of the leaves just look a little bit brown and burned on the tips. If you have plants that are yellowing or have very small leaves or stunted growth or some slow growing plants, that can indicate a nitrogen deficiency, so you may need to add nitrogen. Control weeds near your plants, especially members of the nightshade family. Insects can carry diseases from those weeds to crops in the garden. Also important to minimize wetting of the leaves. Drip irrigation decreases disease problems by keeping soil off the leaves of plants. Mulching around your plants also will protect them from drying out and prevent water from splashing up on the leaves, but don't mulch too close to the stem. And you may have to reapply mulch during the growing season because it does break down in the sunlight. If you see leaves that are affected by disease that look uh, bad, just make sure you cut those off as soon as possible and discard them. Don't put them in the compost pile. Wash your hands and shears before you move to other plants. If your plant is cut, this is what a healthy tomato stem looks like. It has very white tissue inside. If you cut a plant uh, that looks diseased, uh, you'll notice that the inside of the vascular tissue is brown or tan. So that shows that the vascular system has been uh, affected and you just need to pull that plant out if it's been severely affected. Bag it up and dispose of it. Don't put it in your compost. If, if damage to your plant is very severe, summer is an excellent time to solarize your soil to control fusarium and other soil-borne diseases. Wet your soil, cover it with a six milliliter layer of clear plastic, weight it on the sides for four to six weeks, and uh, that sh will help to kill a lot of the diseases that would uh, cause problems for future gardens. Water well, add compost and molasses to uh, bring the soil back. If you've got disease problems, you can treat your plants with compost tea or a horticultural cornmeal tea. And there's also a great product, Serenade. It's Bacillus subtilis. It will, uh, it's a soil dwelling bacterium that controls anthracnose, bacterial leaf spot, early and late blights, powdery mildew, and many other diseases. Use it early at the first signs of problems and you can control diseases in your plants and have a great harvest of tomatoes.